Alexander Usyk versus Tony Bellew is very close now. They had the public workout and the weigh-in is very close. That is tomorrow. So, will Tony Bellew make weight? I think he will. He is very, very professional, so he will obviously make weight. Has he made weight well? Well, he said that when he started his camp, he was 17 stone. And obviously coming down to 14 stone. Four is a very big task for someone like that who is that that much over the weight limit. But he will 100% be there. It's just obviously that does have a bit of a strain and can take a toll on your body coming down in weight like that, especially when you're training so hard. But, I mean, he's done it before. He's making 175, 175 pounds, sorry, in the light heavyweight division. So he's no stranger to stripping off and coming down in weight to fight at his natural weight. I think cruiserweight is his natural weight. Obviously, he could fight at heavyweight because he beat David Hay at heavyweight, but David Hay was a smaller heavyweight. And obviously he struggled probably a little bit more with the bigger boys like Anthony Joshua, Dylan White, maybe even Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, because they just have so much size. And he's very technically gifted, a very underrated technical fighter. But I think the size would just be too much. But anyway, we have him fighting Alexander Usyk for all four belts in the cruiserweight division, including the Ring Magazine belt, which is a very prestigious belt. It doesn't probably get the recognition it deserves these days. It's not really classed as a world title. It's always the four belts, but I'm going to class that as a top belt. So I'm going to say five belts in the cruiserweight division. Tony Bellew looked sharp and powerful on the pads when we saw him. And I remember thinking back to the David Hay fight, the first one, when... David Hay was the one who was going to blow Tony Bellew away. Tony Bellew didn't have a hope. And if I'm honest, I'm not going to sit here and say that I thought Tony Bellew was going to win that first fight. In the build-up, I thought it was just too much. I thought he'd bit off too much than he could chew. But then when I saw them at the public workout and I saw David Hay was a little bit slower than he normally was and was kind of ambling around across the canvas, then we saw Tony Bellew. He came out, he looked fast, he was moving well. I mean, I know it's only pad work and that doesn't say much about the fight, it's just a sort of public media thing. But if you pay attention, you can see what the fighter has been working on and see what they plan to put in place on fight night, like different angles of punches and what they are going to do to set up those punches. I remember watching that public workout and I thought that was the first time I actually thought, OK, Tony Bellew does have a chance here. He could cause David Hayes some problems. And I'm not going to say that, oh, I thought then Tony Bellew was going to win the fight because I still didn't really, I didn't really think that he had enough to beat David Hay. I just thought that David Hay would be too much, but he proved me wrong. Obviously, in the rematch, it was a different story. I kind of thought that Tony Belly would win that one. But this fight is a whole different kettle of fish. He's fighting a cruiserweight who has obviously fought at heavyweight in the amateurs, but he has never fought a heavyweight in the pros, so he is used to getting down to cruiserweight. But again, he is in the same boat as Belly. He has to make weight, and it's going to be difficult because they are both big guys. I think that it might be a bit cagey to start with this fight. I think that Usyk is going to have to try and settle into his rhythm. And that is going to be Tony Bellew's, probably his best hope, is to not let him settle into his rhythm. I don't. I think Usyk is going to be in front of a UK crowd who's going to be behind Tony Bellew. And Tony Bellew is going to be quite confident, obviously, coming off of those two hay fights. So it is going to be against Usyk a little bit. And Tony Bellew cannot let him settle into that rhythm of using his great footwork and hand speed. As I said before, Tony Bellew is a very underrated, technically gifted fighter, and you will see that here. He's a very good inside fighter, which will be probably vital during this fight, especially when Usyk comes up close and starts stepping away and escaping to the left. Tony Bellew is going to have to work on his inside game to get to Usyk. But to win this fight, Tony Bellew is going to have to take Alexander Usyk to places he has never been before. He's going to have to try and hurt him. To Alexander Usyk, we've never really seen him rocked. He gets hit a lot, but we haven't seen him hurt by a shot, and... To be honest, if Tony Bellew can't hurt him, then he's kind of in a world of shit because he's going to have to be able to hurt Alexander Usyk to keep him at bay. Usyk will just walk through his punches if he can't hurt him, as he did against Gassiev. Gassiev had nothing really that could bother Usyk. Even though he is a puncher, Usyk wasn't afraid to come forward and keep coming forward. And after about four or five rounds, Gassiev folded and kind of just tucked his chin to his chest and his gloves up around his ears and took a 12 round decision loss. I'm not being harsh or disrespectful, but it's just, I mean, when you're in there with such a fighter like Usyk, who is constantly chipping away at you, jabbing, moving, and he's always a moving target and he's always coming forward. He doesn't give the fighters any chance to rest. It is just too much. And it's going to take a very skilled fighter to beat him and technically gifted. 
And also, it's going to take a great game plan. You don't have to be the best fighter in the world. If you have a great game plan, you can always cause the other fighter problems. And that's what Tony Belly will do. He'll have a great game plan put together by himself and Dave Coldwell. And Tony Bellew just has to execute it to the T in order to beat Usyk. Also, that left hand is going to come into play. He's a great counter-puncher, is Tony Bellew. And that will work to his advantage against Alexander Usyk. If you watch the punch that he knocked out David Hay with, or knocked him down for the last time with, was that left hook, which was a counter shot as David Hay was swinging. The same punch knocked out Alungu Makabo when he won the WBC World Championship. It knocked him out cold also. So, I mean, that shot is going to be very important. If he can catch Usyk coming in with that shot, then Usyk is going to find it very, very hard to take that shot and keep coming. And if he can start backing Usyk up, that's when Usyk is in trouble. He's not used to being backed up. He's used to being coming th forward all the time. And if Bellew can back him up, then he's going to struggle. He's going to be in territory he has never known before. But anyway, what do you guys think? Can Tony Bellew do it? Can he upset the odds once again? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please also like, share and subscribe to the channel Crunch Boxing and Sport.